Qatar introduces a new innovative platform to address concerns and complaints by workers across the country. Meanwhile, health authorities have credited the recent drop in COVID-19 daily cases to restrictions. In more health news, recent data has revealed that Qatar holds one of the highest survival rates in cancer patients worldwide. And finally, Eid is almost upon us. Hi, I'm Farah and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. We start off in Doha, where authorities have unveiled new strides in ongoing improvement for workers in Qatar. On International Workers' Day yesterday, the ministry announced a new innovative platform that allows staff members across the country to submit complaints against their employers. According to authorities, the platform, designed to tackle disputes and improve conditions for workers, will be launched in the next coming days. This comes as a part of Qatar's growing efforts to protect labor rights, starting off with the historic labor reforms that introduced the region's first non-discriminatory minimum wage. For the full report, head on to DohaNews.co. And more good news for Qatar, health authorities have reported a steady decrease of daily COVID-19 cases that have been attributed to a set of strict restrictions that were imposed a few weeks back. In an interview with Qatar TV, head of vaccination at the Ministry of Public Health, Dr. Sohel Bayat, said the country's accelerating vaccination drive has also helped hit the brakes on rising numbers. Data shows that those who have received both doses are 61 times less likely to be admitted to a hospital if sick and 91 times less likely to require intensive care. This year, Qatar saw its peak with 989 daily cases reported on April 15th. Since then, the cases have slowly but surely been decreasing. In other health news, Qatar has reported one of the highest survival rates for cancer patients in the world. Data reveals 88% of women with breast cancer have survived, as well as an 82% chance of survival for those with colorectal cancer. Both types of cancer were also reported to be the most common among all nationalities in Qatar. And finally, the holy celebration of Eid is almost upon us. Astronomers at the Qatar Calendar House have made their predictions, and they say Eid al-Fitr will likely fall on the 13th of May. However, look out for the final announcement to be made by the Ministry of Endowments before you start celebrating. That was it for today, but for more of our stories, head on to dohanews.com.